how long can you ride a mare who is pregnant? Oh, this was the first time we got this, and I think it's a really good question. Um, the, the rule of thumb that seems to be out there in the industry, mm -hmm. there's not really, although you should involve your veterinarian, there's not really a hard and fast veterinary um, rule for this, but the industry seems to think that somewhere in the six to eight month realm is where you should maybe stop stop or yeah and and we should probably back up and say the gestation period for horses is 11 months around the 340 days so um, about halfway through a little yeah a little bit more than halfway you can go but it sometimes it depends on the mare herself mm. she'll either tell you I, I found one uh, one quote from oh the the two mares I rode while prego told me to take a hike around seven months, <laughs> very clearly said, I'm done. And it, it has to do with um, it hormones for one thing, but also just physically, mm. like the saddle doesn't fit where it's supposed to anymore, it's getting pushed up. So that's uncomfortable. Um, they might be affected by weight and weight shifts, and so they're losing their uh, balance and agility. And, and people talk about Lost the ability to canter after mm. six or seven months, or because well, having to round up and can't get the legs, <laughs> you know. But collection yeah. is gone. Bending, I mean, there's just it's not it's not um, not comfortable. It's not doable anymore. So it depends also on like what discipline you're doing. It does. What level of riding you're doing. It does. Yep. Um, I did find a couple of veterinary references. One was during uh, the fifth and tenth months of pregnancy. The mares are endocrinologically, you didn't think I was going to build this table. Happy idea. morning on that one. Good job. <laughs> Susceptible to abortion owing to hormonal deficiencies. What that means is in those months, the source of the hormones that keep the horse pregnant switch. Mm. So that's not a time to stress the mare, um, overheat the mare. So traveling, there's people who compete pregnant mares. And I, I had to think twice about that because it's not so much the physical exertion that mm. concerns me, it's that they're being exposed to other horses. Oh, uh, yeah, and that's a good point. You might have your mare vaccinated, let's hope, um, but you know, the other horses might not be, and, and exposing your pregnant mare to other horses of unknown status is a little, to me it's risky, but. Yeah, to your point, you don't know all of, what all the other horses you know, on the, at the show yeah, are so doing and not. There's aren't. ways to go to shows and not use a stall and, and have your own water, and. Um, not graze and not mingle and it reduce your uh, exposure, horses exposure, but I think it's a, a decision that everybody has to make for themselves and, and what's more important to them um, in this mare's life at yeah. the time. So. so roughly six to eight months, but kind of listen to your horse and mm -hmm. kind of see where her performance level is mm -hmm. going and if you start to see some uh, dwindling performance, maybe it's time to Call it a break. Yeah, and, and definitely keep your vet in the loop, and they might have specific recommendations for time and, and things to watch for. And, and I do know there was one, one reference to it's probably not a good idea to get your mare overheated.